And now a story you'll see only on four, a surgery that's been nine months in the making to separate conjoined twins from Brownsville. CBS 4's Nestor Mata was the only Valley reporter in Corpus Christi today where doctors announced their operation date. Scarlett and Jimena have spent the last nine months of their lives conjoined at the pelvis and here at the ICU of the Driscoll Children's Hospital, but that will soon change. Tuesday afternoon, a panel of seven doctors held a news conference to talk about the steps they will take to separate Scarlett and Jimena Hernandez Torres, two of three triplets born to Sylvia Hernandez of Brownsville. This will be the first time doctors at Driscoll will conduct this type of operation. Dr. Haroon Patel, a pediatric surgeon and team leader for the procedure, says the girls do share a colon and have some attached organs, which will need to be reconstructed once separated. He says their parents, Sylvia and Raul Torres, are excited and looking forward to the big operation. The parents, however, understand that these babies are complex babies. They're going to require complex surgery and uh, they have been pushing us to separate them a lot earlier and we've actually been putting a brakes on it. Doctors believe Scarlett and Jimena are strong enough to withstand this massive surgery, which could take over 12 hours to complete. The babies have already had several operations due to complications associated with being conjoined. It's always a tough conversation to have with the parents. I think parents have been very upfront and open about this from the get-go. The two, along with their triplet, Catalina, were born on May 16th at almost 34 weeks, all just over four pounds. Doctors say it is rare for conjoined twins to survive birth and even live this long. Patel says only one in 200,000 babies are born conjoined. Triplets with two conjoined babies are even more rare. A separation for a case like this has only been done once before in Saudi Arabia. The challenge here is doing it all together on two children who are very close together and uh, working with all the surgeons together like that. Doctors tell CBS 4 News the surgery is very complicated and they have warned the parents that one or both of the babies may not survive. That surgery is set for late February. In Corpus Christi, Nestor Amado, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. All right, Nestor, with the triplets, the family also has a three-year-old son.